ब्रह्म गुरु विष्णु गुरुदेव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात्ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम ध्यान मूल गुरु मूर्ति पूजा मूल गुरु पदम मंत्र मूल गुरुर्वाक्यम मोक्ष मूल गुरु कृपा सदगुरु भगवान की जय स्वामी जी महाराज की जय शिव हम by the grace of existence universal omnipresence omnipotent and only and only consciousness of the universes galaxies all the creation there is a question arise by the traditional norms of the western countries that what is the difference between the disciple and the student in the asian continent south asia india japan tibet even the china nc and china not now china after the communist ruling before the communist ruling china and before islam arabian countries and south east asia and west asia countries when the islam was not came and even the after the islam the sufism there is a master and disciple tradition in these countries and the culture of countries is that there is the family and society and various re- religious spiritual groups and many many spiritual institutions in these countries every countries has many institutions and every institution have a big master and other disciples because the master always enlightened person always atma gyani and free from the death of word and il- free from all illusions and all the boundaries and foundation of the lack of supreme knowledge of this world i am talking about ancient time and uh, 1000 years before us so the master and disciple relationship is millions times more as a father sons or mother daughter relationship because you can get father in every birth you can get mother every birth you can get husband and wives every birth but you cannot get the master in every birth the indian traditional 
mythology says the master comes in your life when you are journey reach in the peak of liberation so i want to tell very honestly in the western countries europe america south american continent canada and uh, other countries and australia and other continents there is only the religious inst institutions like the prayer places churches and other and other there only and only the priest devotees nuns fathers cardinals and popes that was the system there is no concept of the master and disciple they are only a develop student and teacher relationship a person can teach you anything he is superior than you in the knowledge and he is your teacher you are the student there is no connection of the heart between the student and teachers they are only the connection of the brain your teaching is finish the teachers work is finish a student take the degree and go away from the teachers he only the formally respect but not respect by the heart when you want to know something and you want to teach something and you want to gain the knowledge there is only and only your brain activate and you learn anything by the brain there is no need of your heart that's why the scholars the writers the book readers the informatory knowledge accumulator in the brain they are called enlightened persons in the european countries western countries america australia and other places but in the japan the master which is teaching the meditation to to the disciples there is the master and disciple relationship the basic difference between the A student and disciple is that a student use only the brain like a computer like a calculator like a floppy like a hard disk but disciple not only use the brain but disciple use the heart also a student respect the teacher only for the class only for the time limit but disciple not even respect but love the master and a student never surrender his services by the physical body or never surrender his mind never surrender his mood never surrender his ego intellect anything because student knows he want only the particular skill or knowledge or particular degree or particular qualification the student knows the syllabus of his teaching because the syllabus comes in the printed matter semester wise year wise and total degree but in the master and disciple relates relationship there is no syllabus there is no town time bound program but student and teacher has a time bound program if you want to pass bachelor degree you should 3 years course 
may be annual exam or maybe the six monthly semester exam but in the masters awareness teaching or meditation teaching or liberation uh, uh, university of enlightenment in this type there is no certain syllabus because syllabus can be different for particular student different and there is no time limit also so the mistake is that we mix this concept of the student in the master disciple relationship everybody want to no the existence by the brain by the mind and they do not know that is not subject of the brain that is not comes in your knowledge or in your floppy of the brain because the existence is completely separate and detached and not involved in your any worldly materialistic physical mental emotional divine or any type of activities and any type of qualities and any type of presence that's why the disciple and master relationship is a completely unknown relationship for this world uh, because they do not know the truth because they do not know the existence because they do not enlighten really they are not atmagani so they have created the artificial imitations in the name of the god and make many many institution and many many religious institution i am not telling about a particular religion i am telling about all the religions of the world so in india the priest prepare in the schools of the sanskrit language they read the vedas they read the upanishads they read the prayer they, they know the prayers they memorize the prayers they know the karma kanda they don't know the worship they know the mantra they know the yagya they know the many many things but they do not know that parmatma cannot come the existence cannot come in their knowing because that the god existence is beyond all the languages of this world so that is the difference between the student and disciple A student always want to know everything by the mind intellect and disciple don't want to know anything he would surrender his heart to the master's feet and that's why if any person say the surrender the heart in the master peace the everyone's ego hurt and everyone's come in the opposition for this love because no one knows something is beyond the mind intellect mood and ego and that something is truth these are the illusion of the maya even in india person theoretically knows but they do not accept because they want to live with the ego they don't want to surrender our ego in front of the master but in the best run countries that is a very big crime if you tell to anyone you surrender your ego they will punish you they will crucify you they will hang you till death because the pattern in the western countries from the childhood the person nurses the ego is make strong the ego in the name of self confidence they tell you can do anything you can do everything you are special person you are a special person grace of the god you god is blessed on you nothing uh, about 
above the God. God is with you. No need of any master. No need of any uh, guru. So that's that is the basic structure of the society and religious group in the western countries. That's why person can learn the yoga because yoga is physical exercise. Person can come in the Kundali meditation because Kundali meditation they have a syllabus, the first chakra, second chakra, third, fourth, and they have the symptoms, they have hypothetically projection, they hypnotize to the person, student of Kundalini Yoga, and as a teacher describe and put the suggestion in the mind, the student feel that, that, that achievement in the Kundalini Yoga. And that is the billions dollar market in the western countries of the Kundalini meditation and Kundalini Yoga. But nobody knows this Atma Jnana, the complete liberation from death and birth cycle, and nobody knows. That's why the Arastu, Aristotle, given the poison by the, that king. And that's why the Jesus Christ was crucified, because I think the Jesus Christ was an Atma Gyani person and he wanted to give this supreme knowledge to the disciples but disciples never accept. They always see the Jesus Christ by the spectacle, by the glasses of their intellect. If Jesus Christ was not enlightened, then nobody give the love like Jesus Christ because without enlightenment nobody can give the love and nobody can say in that point of the death when he was crucified nobody can say oh God give him pardon forgive them they do not know what they are doing yes it is right because you do not know what you are doing because you are you want to be a student you don't want to be disciple you do not know that if you do not want to be the disciple, you will be become the slave of your ego. And your ego is the completely blind conspiracy of the maya, of the illusion. The thousand thousand persons, the millions millions persons, they have the different different ego. A one person's ego cannot match by other person's ego. They can make a drama to matching the ego because they want some compromise, they want some mutual interest, they want some work together and they have both benefit of both persons. So there seems that ego is matching but ego is not matching. The husband wife's ego is not match. The teacher student ego never match. Even the two presidents of any country, coming president and going president, their ego never match. So if there is a difference, how can that is existence? Because existence has no difference. Existence is the unanimous. Existence is the homologous. Existence never heterologous. That is the proof of this world. If you see the protoplasm and nucleus and cell structure and cell membrane, that is the same in all the animals, amoeba to the elephant or jellyfish, uh, sorry, the proto protozoa to the blue whale. There is the same cell structure. It proves that existence try to make you the same, but your ego became make you the different. So the disciple try to become in the equilibrium of the creator of the of the existence and a student try to be something with their with his ego. That's why. 
If you are a student, you cannot be enlightened. My mother Swami says, when the students come for the learning the hypnotherapy, when the students come from learning to the holographic alignment, they promise to Mother Swami, we will never leave you, we will surrender you, we will serve you, we will help you, we will be in touch of you all that all the life. But why they are not fulfill their promise? Because they are not disciples, they are students. They use the disciple word in the place of the student. And I am facing the same problem in the Western countries. Persons come, take the Guru Diksha, become my disciple. And after become disciple, the studentship overlap in their mind and they become a student, they do not disciple. But in India that is not. Once a person, honest person, I am not telling for dishonest person, I am not telling from the cheaters and the conspiracy makers and the person, they want to manipulate, they want to make the fool the master, I am not telling about that person. As the mother Swami, she is honest, loving master and she wants to give the real knowledge and best one knowledge to the students. The students, they are manipulate, they are make fool in the name of disciple by the false, false promises. In the same thing in India also. The many, many persons, they do not know exactly the meaning of the disciple and they have a rumor that without master you be, you cannot get any good thing you without master you cannot uh, go, uh, bless of the gods so and they comes they take guru diksha and after they taking guru diksha they run away because they have no motive to enlightenment they have no aim for self realization they have no aim for uh, metamorphosis they have no aim for transformation. So second thing is that come, the student want knowledge, but disciple want transformation. He want to become tadpole to the frog. He want to completely change into the jiva to shiva, into the living beings to the existence. He want to completely separate from the physical, mental, causal body. He want to completely separate from the Annamaya Kosha, Pranamaya Kosha, Manomaya Kosha, Vigyanamaya Kosha, Anandamaya Kosha. He want to completely detach from Satoguna, Rajoguna and Tamaguna. He want to completely de detach and aware in the physical body, mind, intellect, mood and ego. And that is the last remaining thing that is your existence, omnipresence, which is presence in all the galaxies uncountable. So the aim of disciple is different. And aim of a student is different. That's why very natural the Western countries will be opposed the master. And they must be opposed. And they should be opposed. There is nothing strange. There is nothing wonder. Because they have no platform of the knowledge of what is the master and what is the disciple. They only see the teachers, they never see the masters. This is not ego. When I gave, went to the first time America, and I tell all the truth in front of many, many persons in my discourses, in my meditation camps, so person they think that I have ego, so I am telling about me, I am beautifying my words, I want to build my image. No, no, no. Because they have no vision about the master. Master is enlightened person. Nobody can know the master, so who will be described the master? So that is a compulsory that master describe himself. 
and that is not ego. When the master is enlightened, Atma Gyani, the ego is completely dissolved at that time. How can the master the ego? So my dear friend, the student is the process to be something in this world. A student is the seed of your worldly power, post and other things and richness and so and so. But disciple is the seed of enlightenment. The disciple is the process to be a liberate person, a total complete aware person, complete conscious person and completely detached from all the illusion of the Maya. So the basic difference between the disciple and the student is that a student to use only the brain, not use the heart. And sometime he want to use the heart, but that is very limited portion of the heart. That is only thankfulness or that is only a guts of please his teacher. But when a person becomes the disciple, he never use his brain. He use brain for only doing the meditation and he use brain only to knowing the master's instruction and he use brain only for awareness. And he always use the heart. So that's why the difference between the student and disciple is that that the respect of the student with the master, that is the partial respect, that is not complete respect, that is only the occasional respect, that is only give and take relationship respect. But respect of a disciple is the true respect. There is a many, many stories of the disciple. They sacrifice their life for the master. They die but not dishonest. And that's why the wrong master, the wrong masters, the artificial masters in the, in the cloth of the masters, the cheaters, they misuse the disciples' respect and the devotion and the surrender. But that is not so much importance because if a master is not real master, he is losing his own chance of liberation and he is doing a sin like a decoit. But if the disciple is right, then existence will please on that disciple and he will be aware. He will be take, give some help to the disciple. So be a honest disciple because disciple is not as a student disciple is completely surrender his heart and disciple never put the his ego in front of master a student can put the ego a student can debate a student can deny but disciple also have the ego i am not telling the disciple has no ego but the ego of the disciple always inferior in the master's enlightened highest authority. Disciple knows that this is my ego is never helpful for me in the path of the master's teachings. So the disciple never try to become the dominant. He don't want to govern the master. He don't want to govern or the criticize or the rectify or the uh, give any supplement of the master teachings but a student is stiffer. Sometimes a student become the dominant over the teacher. When I was a student in the BSc final, some students they are extra brilliant. They comes in the class with the thorough reading of that chapter and they want to dominate the teacher, the professor. So disciple never dominate the 
master but student can dominate the teacher the student has a big ego the ego of a student never surrender with the teacher to the teacher but the disciples ego is completely surrender in the feet of the masters because disciple knows if i will not surrender the ego the ego will become the poisonous and he will be the ego will be detach me from the master and my journey become the incomplete and i go in the back in the illusion of the maya so this understanding that this ego is not my friend this is my enemy it, it can be stop my journey it can be destroy my journey this understanding disciples have but this understanding student not have that's why the western countries person they are very hard to be the disciple they can be the student many many person in the western countries and eastern countries india also my disciples they are big officers they are professor in the college they ask me the question what happened when you enlighten what happened when you enlighten they knows what happened when a clap on the on the cheek and what happened in the pain they cannot describe their pain they can not describe their pleasure with their wives they cannot describe the taste of the food when the food is very tasty they only tell ah yes it is tasty but they they cannot describe how tasty if they if the person they cannot describe the love they cannot describe the pain they cannot describe the taste they cannot describe the pay uh, the feelings of the sorrow even some person have a great sorrow but no tears tears in the eyes not describable sorrow also so hey, they can not describe even the worldly things how can master describe what is happen when i enlighten i tell that when i enlighten my back side two wings grown and i was flying in the sky like an angel they want something false they want something hypothetical they want something beautification in the words because they are so blind they cannot understand if your worldly phenomena cannot be described ever the pain and love and other and and, uh, and the other things your feelings with your uh, involving the physically with some person you cannot describe that that they do they they are not understanding they want to know the enlightenment in the level of their intellect and the mind and that's why this type person cannot be the disciple they can be only the student and they can put the knowledge in their brain and they can fold the computer floppy of their brains like a memory of their brains computer 800 grams computer and they want they will be die with their ego so the basic difference between the disciple and the student is that the aim aim is different a student's aim is worldly aim disciples aim is knowing the existence transformation the syllabus of a student is different a disciple has syllabus no syllabus the master's position is different from the teacher and the surrender is quite different between the student and the disciples and the thinking about the master is completely dif different and respect is completely different and love is completely different different and devotion is completely different and purity is completely different because the student can be impure because there is no purity for the student be the student you can smoke you can do uh, take any type of food but disciple cannot take any type of food disciple cannot take any mera zuena i am smoking i 
I am not uh, telling for the other things. I am telling for marijuana, heroin, LSD, drugs. So student can take the drugs. Or in the universities of the world, you are seeing seeing that many many student take the drugs in the hostels of the universities. So it is automatically a proof that if you are a student, you never transform it because. The studentship is not a stage of transformation and it is not necessary that you are a student and degree holder and PhD and DSC and you will be hon honest. It is not necessary because all the conspiracies, corruptions, all these things they are even the terrorism, even, even the bomb making. Even the many bad things, they are doing the brilliant students in this world. But you never see a single person who is the real disciple. He, he never kill any, any animal also. And he is so merciful. And he cannot do or she cannot do anything wrong. Cruel loveless or anything uh, without love he cannot do these things so that's why the first stage of the student and the disciple a student can eat anything but disciple cannot eat the animal part a student may be non-vegetarian but the disciple always a begun. Begun. Because his master is a begun. He follow the master. And a student never follow even the teacher. Maybe some student follow the teacher because they are teachers also. Taking some things non-vegetarian and and other things. So they follow the teachers. But the disciple always follow the master because his master is pure and purest. Never take these things. So the behavior of the disciple is quite different in the comparison of a student also. A student cannot be sit silent long time but disciple can sit silent long time. Because the language is the main tool for the student or learning or teaching. But in the master-disciple relationship, language is no meaning. The love is meaningful. There is that love is tool. Love is tool. But unfortunately, in this world, never respected the love love never respected by this world if a person is good and lovely he will not be clever he is a pure love and the other person tell that is fool that is a mad because the definition of the wiseness in your world is the clarity not purity a person is clever, that is a wise, that is a brilliant. But a person is not clever. He want pure, he want give the pure love. You never respect. That's why the Jesus was never respected that time. After the 50 years of the Jesus, you can read in the history of the Christianism, Christian religion in the internet. After the 50 years, this religion is a start when Jesus was there. If Jesus was clever, he can save his life very easily. He can say to the king, Oh, sorry, I will not do this thing again. Please don't crucify me. So that is the basic difference between the student and the disciple. Disciple never left the truth, never left the love. A student can left the truth for the mark, for the practical marks or for the uh, sessional marks of the office examination. He can do it. 
but disciple cannot do it he cannot use the cleverness disciple cannot use the manipulation so the he is the pure and purest person and remember i am telling for the western countries because the most of western country person they believe in the bible and the jesus christ remember the word of the jesus jesus told in the bible those person they have the pure heart like a child they can enter in my, in the heaven heaven is only a symbol of the purity so disciple goes in the path of the purity and student goes in the path of impurity a student want to know how i can earn the money how can take the degree how can hold the post how can uh, become a prime uh, uh, person in the society how can become a minister or administrator or governor but disciple not think like that disciple think how can i be pure and pure every day and how can become the purest phase of the life and the purest love of the life that is the transformation into the existence so goal is differ function is differ character is differ food is differ thinking is differ direction is differ and mythology is differ that's why the western countries never accept the masters i am very graceful and merciful master that i want to come in the western countries and teach you this nectar of enlightenment if i see your behavior and irrespectful thinking and you think that i am a egoistic person i never come in the western country from the india because i i have no interest to take anything from any country of this world but this is my duty because i know 100% person is not blind in the western country there is many many person they want liberation salvation enlightenment and they want to know the existence they want to be the free soul i know the thousand thousand person in the western countries they want to know the real love so the real and true love only comes after the atma gyana and it is very good news that in the porto rico there is a mother swami mother swami you see the mother swami and his life she is the real love pure love she sacrifices everything for the students but she has not get any disciple she get many students and they are really students and she think that they are disciples and they take away everything from mother swami but they cannot take away the love of mother swami that is remaining as it is so that is a example of a person that person comes on this earth from the childhood as it is because if you want to make a sculpture you should need a very special stone not every stone can you make the sculpture if you want to make the sculpture is idol by the layer stone the layer stone will be decay and break so you cannot make the sculpture on the granite also granite is very hard but you can easily make the sculpture in the white sangmarmar stone so the symptom of a person who will become a master in the life that comes from the childhood and i want to share a very good disciples character example of the mother swami when she was in the austria 
No, I told Austria. What is the country? Austria? I am correct? Yes. When she was in Austria, and she was only for uh, only six or seven year young girl, and she hugs to the carpenter, she hugs to the plumber, she hugs to the washerman, she want to hug every poor person or lower class person, she never differentiate and her mother and father told, what are you doing? She is telling from 8, 7 or 8 year age, I am giving the love because I am love. So the love is naturally flows from the childhood in the mother Swami. And this world never understand the love. I am very sorry to say, my dear friends, this world is think that love is foolishness. And cleverty is the vice, is the cleverness, is the great thing. That's why if you are not respecting the love, then in your life there is no love. That's why there is no love. You are only a student, you cannot be the disciple. Only the lover person can come to the master, even the man or the woman. I want to tell the example of my disciples in India. They are, even they are men, they are, uh, they are, uh, they are masculine and they have love with me very greatly. I have many, many disciples. They, uh, they are men, but their heart like a, uh, like, they loves me like a, um, I want to say, some, somebody loves me like a mother, somebody loves me like a sister, somebody lo loves me like a very, very nicely heart, as a, they have the woman's heart. So the Indian mythology says, that if you have the heart of the woman, you can be a very good disciple because the, if you have the heart of the man, you will be a hard person because your ego is very strong. So my dear friend, the point has came if you have ego strong, that you cannot be a disciple. If you, you can surrender your ego and you will, will not listen about your ego and you will be surrender your ego in the, front, in the feet of the masters, then you can become a disciple and you cannot surrender your ego. You are a student and this knowledge cannot come by the, for the student because this is not knowledge of the brain and intellect, mind and intellect. Because that this is a, not a computer program. And this is not a bookish knowledge. And this is not a knowledge of your sensory organs experiences. This is beyond all these things. I, I want to repeat an example. If a person clap on the face and anybody ask, Please write down your pain about, please write down only two lines about the pain. What are you feeling in your face? You cannot express your pain. If your son or your daughter is went away from you or passed away or that is in ICU or that is gone abroad from you, thousand thousand miles away from you and when you feel the pain in your heart you are missing You're, you you are feeling the tears you only can say I am missing my daughter I am missing my son but you cannot describe that pain so my dear friend that is the love worldly love and that is the not real love that is the only a fake love, the real love that's come from enlightenment, 
but that is you called it so called love you called it love but if you love your master even like that as you love your son as you love your mother as you love your sister as you love your very dearest and nearest friend then the first stage of the disciple you will be cross otherwise not in the end i want to tell being a disciple is the matter of the heart and being a student it is the matter of the brain i think it is appropriately it is enough for today if the god will give me some more light i will describe more disciple and uh, student different thank you very much love you very much bless you very much and forgive forgive me if i criticize anything but i i want to put the fact in front of you and i always welcome good disciples i i do not need any student thank you very much